Hi guys, this is Maria and I will show you through this video how I attach nose piece to the mask and how I sew around it, just in case if you would like to have an idea. And I also uh, would uh, skip a couple of stages so that the video will not gonna be too long. So first thing what I do, and let me explain to you what uh, I actually shifted over here. So we suggested to sew around the perimeter of the mask uh, between uh, a quarter of an inch and three eighths of an inch away from the edge. What I did, I shifted that a little bit and I uh, allowed three eighths of an inch seam over here on the top so it will securely hold the nose uh, piece and all around the rest of the edges I did quarter of an inch or maybe less than that. So the size of the mask will not gonna be affected at all. Uh, so, and um, let me go and just tell you, so I, first thing I did, I, will, uh, I was aligning nose piece. So I just did this with the first step. I just want to make sure that the nose piece will be nicely. I'm sorry, I need to shut the doggy's door. I'm sorry for that. So what I did, I was aligning nose piece on the middle of the top of the mask so it will be all nice and snuggly. And so the half uh, over here, the middle, uh, will be four and a half inches and the nose piece is three inches long, so I can use my eye to make it uh, on the middle and all symmetrically aligned, or I would just can use my tape measure. And so I mm, create uh, two marks over here on both sides of my nose piece so that I will know where I start sewing and where I going to end sewing. And I'm using the same opening over here and the same size for the opening. Um, was, so I will uh, turn this uh, mask right side up. So then I sew all around it and uh, I attach uh, ear uh, elastic for the ears on the corners, right? Uh, sandwiched between two fabrics, just like this and I'm sewing around. And then right before I will turn the fabric the right side out, I attach the nose piece. So I, uh, I just pull this uh, thing off and I attach this nose piece right a uh, few, uh, like a little bit below than the stitch line because when I will flip it the right side on the right side I need some space over here so I can sew all the way around the nose piece and that really helps to secure it correctly so I leave a little space between as you can see between the stitch and the nose uh, piece and just a little bit lower so I will have enough space to stitch it without breaking my needle. So uh, also because before I turn it the right side out I cut the corners so it will be easy to create sharp corners. All right <clears throat> then when it's turned the right side out uh, I uh, go to my ironing board I'm sorry this got undone I go to my ironing board and I iron uh, I make, create I iron all the way around and then I create pleats and iron all over again so it will be easy for me uh, to sew uh, when I will be sewing whole thing uh, together the nose piece and the pleats on both sides and what I like to do I like to go around twice so what we did so far is making pleats ironing and now we are at the Step seven, sewing around the perimeter with splits and nose piece twice. So let's do that right now. Now, uh, make sure that when you are ready to iron the pleats and make them secure, you create those pleats at the uh, uh, right, uh, they facing right 
uh, side, right? Uh, the nose piece on the top and pleats facing down. Okay, so that uh, might be a mistake that needs to be fixed if um, it's going the right, uh, they going up. So let me, um, okay, so I will show you just a little bit, not all the way, because all you need to see is how I'm doing the uh, sewing around the nose part. So let me find my pedal and start my machine, okay. I will secure my stitching. And I'm going relatively close to the edge because I will create double line. And if I'm not very close to the edge, then it creates a, a, lo a wider stitching. So I don't want that. I will go straight line all the way to the next left side of my mask okay then i will remove this paper clip and turn the mask around make sure the pleats are all snuggled and correctly parallel to each other and go Okay, now I will be going all the way to the edge because the first round I'm sewing, I will be sewing on this side of the nose strip. So that's where I will slow down my pace and I will be very, very careful because I don't wanna break my needle. I don't wanna go out of the edge. You sometimes need to help your sewing machine uh, to do that correctly. All right, and now what I will be doing, I will meet, I need one more stitch. I will meet my uh, corner a little bit short because I will be stitching the second layer of uh, for my mask. The second row of stitches. One more, then going around, and then I need to go through this step so I can show you correctly what I'm doing all around the nose piece. Okay, okay, so now I'm going the last time around this edge. And then I will come as close as I am on the other sides to this part of the um, uh, top of the mask, just because it will look unified. I did it many different ways. So when I was uh, putting the long strips, I just went all the way this way. I didn't go around it. But with this uh, shorter one, with the um, not as wide strip, I will go this way. And then I will go all the way until I will meet my strip. And then I will go around like that. And I'm opening my pleat so I will accidentally not sew it all in. Okay. I'm turning around and now go this way on the bottom part of the nose strip, making sure my lines are parallel to the edge of the mask and my first line of stitches, making sure I'm going all the way to the end of the nose strip. Yep, I'm at the end and I'm going around and I will show you closer what really happened over here. And the last part is this one, making sure again the pleats are open so I'm not going to sew them accidentally together. And I will secure the end of my 
Okay. And carefully cut. All right. So this is what has happened. Um, I ended up uh, sewing all the way around and this way all the way to the end of my... Um, it got a little bit wiggly over here, but I um, it was very hard to go around my camera, the tripod that my camera is uh, attached to. So and that looks like this on the other side. Sorry for my dog barking, but yeah, that's the uh, end of my video. I uh, usually uh, do it that way and it works pretty well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.